Welcome to the fifth video in the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. Today we'll be discussing tables, table occurrences, and layouts. Like most database programs, FileMaker stores data in a relational structure in tables with fields. In order to access this data for viewing and manipulation, a few steps are necessary. First, you have to create a table. Secondly, you need to add some fields to the table. Thirdly, we'll need to create table occurrences. And finally, we'll need to create a layout. The example we'll be using today concentrates on the contact management section of a very simple reseller, who purchases products from a wholesaler and resells them to customers. The aspect we'll be focusing on are the contacts associated with both wholesalers and customers. Ultimately, our database will consist of three tables, a contact table, a wholesaler table, and a customer table. A contact, from the contact table, will be associated with both a wholesaler as well as a customer. To create a table, select Manage and then select Database from the File menu in FileMaker. For the purposes of this example, we've already created the wholesaler and customer table. Just the contact table remains to be created. To create this table, enter the table name into the table name field and press Create. Then edit the fields of this table by double clicking on the Created table or selecting the Fields tab. Creating fields for a table is very similar to creating the table itself. Choose the data type which corresponds with the kind of data being stored in the table. Click Create to create the field. Once you've created the field, you can specify a variety of options such as validation and automatic data entry. To access these options, select the field you wish to create and either double click it or press the Options button. In here, we'll set the field to automatically insert a serial for MySQL developers, that's akin to setting the field to automatically increment. Once finished, click OK to create the field. We'll quickly create the remainder of the fields for the contact table, including a first name and a last name. In FileMaker, table occurrences provide context. They allow you to view data stored in the base table in the context of another table. In our example, we'll be viewing data from the contact base table in the context of the customer and wholesaler tables, and we'll create table occurrences accordingly. Table occurrences can also be used to populate value lists and portals. To create a table occurrence, click on the Relationships tab in the Manage Database window. Then, click the Add Table Occurrence button in the tool pane in the bottom left of the window. To begin with, instead of using the wholesaler base table as the basis for our layout, will create a table occurrence. This becomes especially relevant in large projects where multiple layouts are often based on a single base table. Secondly, name the table occurrence appropriately. At Real Evolution, we tend to observe a naming convention which prefixes the table occurrence with the primary use. The LAY lay prefix is used for table occurrences comprising layouts. The portal PRT prefix is used for table occurrences serving as portals in the layout. The val prefix val is used for value list and rel is used for other relationships. Thirdly, add another table occurrence based on the contact base table. Fourthly, link the related contact table occurrence to the wholesaler table occurrence via the zz underscore id field. That's it, you've finished creating the table occurrences needed for the wholesaler layout. At this point it's worth taking a quick look at the visual layout of the table occurrences in the relationships window. In our example, these are relatively easy to follow due to the simplicity of the database. In large databases, however, the relationships window can quickly get out of hand. A variety of approaches exist to manage the layout of table occurrences in the relationships window. In FileMaker Pro 10, the missing manual, Susan Prosser and Jeff Coffey advocate the anchor boy model. This approach essentially suggests grouping the table occurrences on the basis of layouts. In our example, an anchor is the wholesaler table occurrence, as it is the basis of the layout, and a boy would be the related contact table occurrence. Accordingly, boys are grouped around an anchor. This approach significantly enhances the maintainability of databases. Now that we have our table occurrences for the wholesaler data, we'll create a layout that allows us to enter and modify data about wholesalers. To begin, click the Edit Layout button. Then, click the New Layout button in the upper tool pane. Select the Wholesaler Layout Table Occurrence, name the layout, and click Next. 
Choose the desired fields you wish to expose in your layout. We want all the fields. Select Move and then click Next. At this point FileMaker allows you to choose a theme to enhance the aesthetics of your layout. Select whichever theme takes your fancy and click Finish. You'll notice that FileMaker has automatically inserted all the fields relating to the wholesaler table occurrence into the layout. However, we still need to add the contact fields associated with a particular wholesaler. To do this, click on the Field Control tool from the top tool pane and draw it on stage where you desire the field to be added. FileMaker will display an Options dialog allowing you to choose the control type and select the data which the field is based on. Select the related contact table occurrence and choose the first name field, then click OK. Repeat this step to add the remainder of the contact fields. In the Layout Edit mode, you can also add a variety of aesthetic visual controls, such as grouping and static images. These tools are available from the tool pane at the top of the window. Once you've finished editing the layout, Click Exit Layout and you'll be able to insert and view data immediately. Thanks for watching this installment of the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. We hope to see you again soon.